Good day to you, my art magicians, and welcome to the fourth week of art magic. We are entering the center of our time together, which means we are going to step up our magical game. And today, we certainly step it up. We are bringing together two things in multiple ways that we see as opposites. And we're going to combine them, creating a third art magical thing. That is how we transform and that is how we create magic and art magic. As we bring things together that are different, we bring together coldness and warmth. We bring together wetness and dryness. We bring together happiness and anger. We bring them together and they to create, create together a third magical thing. That's how we do it and that's how we will do it today. Are you ready to transform through art magic? Yes. Yes, yes. The first thing we have to do is make sure we have all of our supplies. Let's see. We will need two pieces of paper. Not big ones, okay? Not big pieces of paper. Make sure the paper that you have is not very big. This is, this is almost too big, but this size will work. Two pieces of paper. We need our trusty oil pastels or crayons. We need salt. Salt. We need a clear cup of water. Clear glass of water. We need some sort of flower blossom or herb or some sort of plant that you are drawn to that you can use for this project. We need a square of cloth. A light color of cloth is recommended, but it certainly doesn't have to be. About this size. We need some scissors. And we need two pieces of string. One longer and one shorter. All right. And gosh, I think that's everything except the watercolors or food coloring. Either one will work. And of course, we need our creative selves. So we know what to do. We know we need to close our eyes now. And we know we need to sink our attention down into our belly, right? Right below our belly button. And we know that we need to imagine a tiny spark deep within our belly. And we need to see what color is that spark. Do you see the color of the spark? Do you feel it tingling? Is it warm or is it, is it cool? Feel this spark as it begins to grow in our belly and it becomes bigger and brighter, the color more vibrant Feel the warmth or the coolness of it as it grows down your legs, up through your chest, out through your arms and into your fingers, up through your neck and into your eyes and ears and head. And open your eyes because our creative self is here and we can 
begin. The first thing I want you to do today is I'm going to explain something. You pause and then you make it. And as you're making it, take as much time as you want and enjoy it. There are multiple steps today, which is fantastic. Take as much time as you want. The first thing I want you to do today is you choose a crayon or an oil pastel that you that makes you feel happy. What color is a happy color for you? You pick that one happy color and on one of the pieces of the paper, you create some sort of happy face or happy person or happy animal, okay? So hit pause now and with your happy color, create a happy face, a happy person or a happy animal slash creature monster. All right, pause. You're back. Set the happy face aside. Now, I want you to choose a color from your pastels or your crayons that is your angry color, all right? You choose an angry color and on the second piece of paper, you make an angry drawing. It could be a face. See, my drawing got super angry. It could be a person, it could be an animal, it could be a monster or a creature, whatever you want. With the second piece of paper and your angry color, hit pause now and create an angry picture, okay? Of a face, a creature, whatever you want. One, two, three, pause! Excellent. You are back. And now what we're going to do is we have our cloth. Set your cloth on the table in front of you and take that flower blossom or that herb or that plant and put it right in the middle of the cloth. Next. Take your angry and your happy and you put them back to back, right? So on one side, you see your happy and on one side, you see your angry. And I'm gonna tell you what to do. You pause and you do it and then you come back. I want you to tear up these tape these pictures together, right? So I am tearing them up and I am putting them on the cloth with the flower blossom. So go ahead, hit pause, enjoy it. Enjoy tearing up these pieces of paper together, however you want, and put the pieces on top of the flower blossom or the herb or whatever plant you have in the middle of your cloth. All right, one, two, three, pause, enjoy. Now you're back. And now we have our water and our water colors and our salt. First, I want you to, you can do this with me, Put salt in that water. Put as much salt as you want to in that water, okay? Salt, 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 salt. And then, using either a spoon or a paintbrush, stir that salt up. What we are doing here is we are combining opposites. Salt is dry, right? Salt is super dry, and we actually use salt to dry food out. Water is of course wet. We are combining salt and water and making a magical solution, salt water. And as we all know, our earth is covered in this magical solution, salt water. Dry and wet come together. 
once look at it once that's all dissolved make sure the salt is all dissolved in the water and then i'm going to ask you to hit pause and i want you to bring color to this water using your watercolors or your food coloring and it's easy all you do is just like you would be watercoloring you just get your get your brush wet and just start dipping it in whatever color you want this water to be. I am choosing blue and I am dipping it and I'm just bringing color to that water, you see? So take your time now, hit pause, and either using food coloring or your watercolors, bring this magical solution into color, all right? You ready? Enjoy it and pause. All right, now we have our magical solution combined with salt and water with something super dry and something super wet. We also have a combination of happiness and of anger inside our pouch. Now, Bring the pouch together, and perhaps you'll need some help with this. I'm not sure. You go like this, you sort of spin it around, and make sure all that stuff, we have the flour in there too, is in there good. And then, using the string, you make sure you tie this good and shut. Using the smaller string, you tie this good and shut so you know nothing will come out, okay? Good and shut, like so. Okay, I used my longer string because it was easier to tie, and that's all right. And now, I want, I'm gonna explain to you what to do and you do it, okay? Now I want you to experiment, and I want you to dip your pouch into your colored, magical, salt water solution, okay? I want you to dip it in there. Hit pause and go ahead and dip it in there and play with it a little bit. If you want to add more color to the solution, go for it. And when you come back, we will continue. All right, you're back now. Make sure you have a towel, or if it's okay with your folks or your caregivers to set this on the table, that's fine, but it's gonna be wet and it's gonna have some color in it. So just make sure you're not going to ruin anything, right? Then you take the pouch out of the magical solution and you set it on the towel. And because I did use the long string, I can just go ahead and do this part. Is I'm going to tie this together up here, right? So what I have is now a hanging pouch. Can you see that? And I might even trim some of this extra cloth off the end. And you might need help doing this. It's can be kind of difficult and you don't have to do it. And now we come to the final part of our magical pouch experiment. Now, this could be a hard part for you, we'll see, is I want you to hang the pouch somewhere where it can dry. It can be inside, in a window, it can be outside, anywhere you'd like. What's nice about hanging it outside is that the pouch collect the beautiful, crisp, magical fall breeze right now and air. Hang it until it is completely dry. Let it collect the sunlight. Let it collect the wind. Let it collect the night. Let it collect the moonlight. Let it collect all of these things as it hangs and as it dries. And then when it's dry, you have yourself a magical pouch that you can wear if you can fit it over your head. 
<laughs> you see? You can wear it as a necklace or you can just hang it somewhere in your room, somewhere special. Or if you get super curious, you can always open up the pouch and see what happened to the things inside. I like wearing it as a necklace when I need a little extra magic. And that is our project for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see pictures of your magical pouches. Thank you again. And continue to spread magic and creativity to everyone in your life.